Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Kaylin's English podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners. I'm here to help you practice your listening skills. I'm Kaylin, a professional English teacher on Italki. In the last episode, I went over soccer, basketball, and football, which are three of the many sports on this earth. In this episode, I will talk about tennis, golf, and volleyball. I have never played any of these sports competitively, just in gym class, also known as physical education, at school, except golf, which I played occasionally with my dad and brothers. Let's start with tennis. Tennis can be played either one on one or doubles, meaning one player plays against another, or two people play on a team against another team of two. While in school, we would play doubles, as not many of us actually played on the tennis team, so we were never really that good at the sport. My brother in law's sister played on the tennis team when she was in high school, but never played doubles as she enjoyed the competitiveness of playing one on one. Tennis is played on a court that has a net in the middle. You need a racket and a tennis ball to play. The court consists of four squares and boundary lines, two squares on either side of the net. One player starts the game by serving the ball over the net to the player diagonally from them, and it must land within that square. If it hits the net on a serve, it is called a fault. And if you hit it again, then it is a double fault, and the opposing player receives a point. There are four points to win a game, and the points go as followed 15, 30, 40, and game. If you have the score of love, it means you have zero points. Tennis requires a lot of eye and hand coordination, which I do not have. I am now going to move on to golf. Golf is an individual sport, but in my high school we had a team, which means that students that played represented the school. Golf requires various golf clubs, golf balls, tees, a golf bag, and a course. Golf courses are usually made up of 18 holes, and each hole has a fairway, green, rough, a flag, and a hole. They can also have sand traps and water hazards. You begin the hole on a tee and drive the ball down the fairway towards the green where the hole is located. The hole is marked with a flag so you can see its location from a distance. You want to avoid the rough, sand traps, and water hazards. If your ball lands in a water hazard, you lose a shot and hit a new ball. To win golf, you want to have the least amount of strokes in total after all 18 holes meaning the lowest score wins. Each time you hit the ball, it is one stroke. Golf can be played not only by professionals, but by people who just want to relax and be outdoors. I played with my dad and brothers just to have some fun outdoors. I also once played with my husband, and he was far more skilled than I was, but it was still a fun outing. I always enjoyed using a golf cart, but normally we would just walk the course. It was great exercise, and I have fond memories. Volleyball is our last sport for today. Volleyball can be played indoors or out. It is usually played with six players on each side of the net, three in the front row and three in the back row. However, you can also play beach volleyball that can have two players per side. You need a net, volleyball, and a court to play. When a ball is served or hit to the other side, you can get only three hits to get it back to the other side, but the same player cannot hit it twice in a row. Hence, you need at least two players. You must also keep the ball from hitting the ground inside the boundary line. You typically use your hands and arms to hit the ball. However, you can legally hit the ball with any part of your body. You may hit the net with the ball during a game, even on a serve, unlike tennis. You cannot catch, hold, or throw the ball. The ball must not come to rest, meaning it must keep moving unless you're preparing to serve the ball. Serving the ball is the same as in tennis, but obviously you do not have a racket. There are many other rules as well, such as illegal touch, double hit, foot faults, illegal alignment, and more. I would go over even more rules for each of these sports, but I think this has been enough for one episode. I have gone over some of the basics to help you get started. I hope you have gained some new vocabulary and have a better understanding of them. Now, if you would excuse me, I am going to go play golf. It is really nice outside. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like more content, then please subscribe to this podcast. You can also support me on Patreon. Find me by typing in Kaylin Teacher. 
On Patreon, you can gain early access to the podcast and transcriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kaylin underscore teacher. Thank you for listening. I hope you all have a great day. Until next time. Bye.